There's only one thing I hate more than lying. Skim milk. Which is water that's lying about being milk. <laughs> I filmed all of this last week, a total of one week ago, uh, but my microphone ended up blowing out. I'm gonna <laughs> Wait, why are you So here I am using the using the poor man's mic. That might seem a little bit ridiculous, however, I only put out good quality content. <laughs> Now, for those of you who are wondering, uh, yes, I did keep my poster that I got with this table. It's actually quite cool. Lifetime attaches a poster to your table that you can hang up in your room as a oh, fine, almost tripped over the as a decorative extra measure. I've been very excited about this. Uh, there's been a lot in the making, and I'm pleased to say that things are finally coming along, but very slowly, so I appreciate the patience. Now, a lot of people have been asking when the next episode of The Bleach Hunt comes out, and uh, I have concluded that the next episode comes out on the... Now, before I really delve into every little nitty... nitty... Mm, uh, here's a little short clip of the drive from Washington to Fairbanks, Let's right go. now. Fuck all of this shit. <laughs> you know how we have state patrol? Little fun fact for all you kids out there. Uh, here in Canada, they have province patrol. News flash, dumbass. They're not called province patrol. They're called the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. You uncultured swan. So you put a, you put a coffee table in here. One person sleeps on top, and one person sleeps on the bottom. <laughs> it's day two. Um, I barely have any room to move because <laughs> you'll notice that I'm just inside the car but underneath a table and you'll notice <laughs> you'll notice <laughs> uh, All you nature enthusiasts out there want to know how to tell if a bear is in the area You just take a look at one of these all those claw marks Yeah, that's pretty bad that's pretty bad. These little bad puppies right here prevent their their fat freaking hands from getting in. Hey buddy. You want you want to get out of the road? Keep it going, mama. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to go by now. Welcome to day 3. <laughs> It's day three. I don't know what temperature it is. Neither of us are really sure how cold it is. I'm shivering. We got another 12 hours ahead of us. Let's ascend it. Oh, yeah! Woo! 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 Without further ado, welcome to the very first installment of Topic Table. Now, we're on a little bit of a time restraint today, so we gotta start speeding things along. I was thinking about doing within the series topic table, I was thinking about having a little sub-series uh, where I do book reviews. So why don't we do that? Let's, let's have a book review. Yeah! The best American science and nature writing. Let's flip to a random page and read. Page 122. If the nurse asks you about your current partner, you should say... Let's get right into the actual topic. Skim milk. Uh, Kellen, milk me. Thanks. I'm gonna stick my dick in the skim milk! Skim milk. Stick your dick in it. This was shot on unregistered hypercam 2. 
my pedo stash showing. Gotta shave it off. Now, the reason I put quotes around the word purpose is because there is none. Skim milk holds no purpose to society, and everybody knows it, but no one chooses to vocalize it. If you were raised properly, growing up on whole or 2%, um, you might be wondering, what is this abomination and why are people drinking it? Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's disgusting. You're better off sticking to drinking your water or drinking your Pedialyte or maybe even a can of this because this and this are equivalent. Little bit of watered down white paint and thicker white paint. Either one you choose will give you the same exact result. Death. Oh, I, I love losing weight. <laughs> no, what, here's a better question. Why do people choose to consume poison? I don't know that. You'd, you'd have to figure that one out for yourself. <laughs> people like to say that, you know, they're, they're drinking the skim milk for a little bit of weight loss. Well, if it's weight loss that you're worried about, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me riddle you something. Believing critics who hold skim milk to this insanely high regard is tantamount to buying into those sketchy tabula ads that you'd see on any other website. An ad like, cardiologist, colon, this is what happens when you eat a, when you eat a what? He put the dot 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 there so it would make you a little bit captivated so that you would click on it. You can fix sagging skin at home by doing it. You know when it says, from the web, you're already way too far in. If your dog eats grass, do this every day. Three dangerous foods people feed their dogs without even realizing it. And then every now and then you'll see a picture of some garbage clickbait attempt that's like, top cardiologist says, this one food will properly flush out your bowels. These kinds of ads are completely irrelevant and or totally sketchy because they involve one of three things, money, stretchy skin, or some random clear liquid with maybe a couple seeds in it. Either way, the only purpose of me comparing this to those garbage ads is to say that at the end of the day, you would have the same exact reaction to clicking on this ad as you would drinking this garbage. Disappointment. Hey bro, have you seen the non-fat milk? No! You wanna know something, something better? You're gonna get your bowl, you're gonna get your cereal, and then you're gonna come this way. You gotta, um, you gotta take a look at this. So right here, we actually have a, um, a milk dispenser, it's it's a substitute. It's just in with the, oh wow. Oh, uh, are you wow. sure, dude? Oh. oh, yes, yes. I swear, I don't. Oh, yes. oh okay, this is like unnerving. <laughs> All right, what is this dude's deal? Uh, hey, what are you doing, dude? By the time that you are watching this video, um, another week will have passed. That is exactly seven calendar days since the last time you saw a scene in this room. Now, that is because of one reason and one reason alone, and that's because I am a lazy sack of sh- Yeah, I want to give a quick apology to everybody watching, uh, at home, from their phones, from their blackberries. Um, I know the lighting situation in here is quite atrocious. It has been for a while, uh, but that's something that I'm working on. Okay, I need everybody's patience on this. This is, this is a new thing. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I think I have a little bit of a head cold or something. What would it, what's the phrase? It's like, the sun rises in the wet, the east and sets in the west. The sun rises in the south and rise, rises in the north. The sun rises in, um, uh, yeah, it's something like that. I, I really am not sure which direction my window points as of right now. I believe my window points east. The point of all this is that my window faces east, I think, and that whenever I film, it's in mid-afternoon, so the lighting's, that's with it off, that's with it on. 
This is the best I can do right now. So everybody just give me a break. <laughs> now before we jump right back into the topic, I, uh, I need to make myself a mic stand. So here's a little speedy montage of that. wasn't really all that bad. It actually makes a half decent mic stand, so I'm actually going to change my rating uh, from my previous book review to a 1 out of 10. Let's make that a 1 out of 10. <coughs> the hair is getting a little long, so I think it's time to do one of these. So right here we have a couple of news articles that uh, I pulled from random sources as to avoid bias. If you eat low-fat dairy foods, you may be lowering your stroke risk. Pause! That news article does not fit the agenda here. We are going to scrap that. And found people who ate more full-fat dairy were 46% less likely to develop diabetes over a 15-year period than those who opted for low-fat dairy. Uh, the key takeaway from that scene was stay thick. Uh, the, the thick, uh, The researchers said there is no prospective human evidence that people who eat low-fat dairy do better than people who eat whole-fat dairy. And that right there should be enough information for you to completely remove yourself from the skim premises. Go. Researchers are recommending more studies. They're always recommending new studies. New studies. Who needs a new study? Here's a new study for you. Here's a... The other uses for your useless skim milk. You could use this stuff to water your lawn. Instead of selling some of the world's freshest skim milk, he's forced to water his fields with it. I'd rather see somebody drinking it than dumping it on grass. I'd rather see the grass consuming it than watching a, another fellow human being poison themselves. What else can you use this stuff for? Hey, Kellen. What are some other uses of skim milk? There are none. And there you have it, people. Pretty much the extent of skim milk uh, in a nutshell. Now, before this uh, video is wrapped up, there's actually one more thing uh, that I'd like to do. Here in my garage. Here in my garage. Just bought this, uh, just got me this new Lamborghini anti tanker rifle. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Uh, you wanna know how I got it? Knowledge. Sit in a hot tub for about a week. <laughs>